So, guys, I am Ahmed Tajani, Mr. Cray to the world, St. Mary Cray, St. Paul's Cray, Open to Bromley Borough, BR5, BR6, Cray to the world. Yes, we don't swear anymore because Ollie Thompson's daughter told me I have to stop swearing, so we changed the intro. Um, I'm here uh, for MMA TV interviewing Freddie Dugbell. Now, I've had to look at that name like three or four times, so I don't get it wrong. Freddie, did I say your name correctly? Not quite. It's Doug Dale. Doug Dale. Oh, my day. So I looked at it four or five times and I still got it wrong. Forgive me. Oh, I apologize. Oh, Doug Dale. That's it. Boom. Yeah. Money. That's the one. Now, apologies for the echo right now. Yeah, this is a very echoey room, but shout out to Amigos Gym and Cotman Dean for allowing me to use the facilities. Now, Freddie, talk to us. Um, what is the date of your next fight? Well, it's this weekend, Saturday the 15th. Beautiful. What show is that on? Fusion MMA in Epsom Downs. Um, is your so correct me if I'm wrong, is yours is yours an is yours an MMA fight or is yours a K1 fight? No, mine's an MMA fight. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Full thing, a full thing. Listen, that's listen. See me, I'm biased. I won't lie. I I love I love K1. I love boxing. I love Muay Thai. But MMA is 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 my heart lies with yeah, there. Me, There's nothing. Know, I like it all. I like all the fighting, but especially MMA. The mix of everything is just a bit of me that. Hundred. Listen, it's it's different. When you do stand up striking, it's great. You can land on someone, you can knock them out. All of that is great. But there is nothing better in life than landing a shot, someone going down, and then as they're on the floor, you finish it. You finish it. It's not. It. It's not done. It's not done. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean he fell on the floor? It's oh, says who? Who said it's done? Right. Not me. I didn't no, say it's done. Counts exactly. Nothing. No, this is what I mean. Mate, you know he's still awake, right? You know he's still awake. <clears throat> That's it. Exactly, Proper. Know. So cool. So 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 talk so talk to us. So what is your what is your record in MMA? How many MMA fights have you had? Well, this is actually my debut, so this is my first one. Okay. Okay, 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 perfect. So what are your feelings leading up to your debut? Because I know a lot of people have different things. Some people are excited, some yeah. people are nervous. How are you feeling? Well, I'm very excited. Not very nervous at the moment, but I'm a high-level GB athlete for judo. So I'm quite used to competing in that, but I just can't wait to get in there. Now, listen, now that I didn't know. Apolo I, listen, guys, know me. Sometimes I'm unprepared, so I apologise, yeah. I didn't know that. Forgive me, yeah. No, so no. me, no, no. I did. I actually had an opportunity when I was younger to do judo. When I say younger, I don't mean like people say, yeah, I've done judo when I was five. No, I was a grown man. I was 18. Thank you very much. So it counts. So I was able to compete doing judo, done some national competitions and stuff like that. So yeah. it's like what sometimes. So I've done. So I've done. I So I say national competitions. I'm talking about British University Championships. So it's not actually no national competitions, but it sounds cool to people that don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, of course, of course. No so it's it sounds it sounds important, but no, listen. I, I, but I had an opportunity to compete and just to experience it. And for people that whatever martial art you do, when you get an opportunity to go in there one on one, and the thing with judo is that it's so intense and the margins for error are so small. You're trying to win by flipping someone over your shoulder onto their back or you're trying to hold them down in a certain yeah. position. When you compare that to MMA, there's a lot of wrestlers that you might not have the wrestling to take them down. When you hit them with a hip throw, I've hit a lot of wrestlers that I probably couldn't out-wrestle and hit them with a hip throw, hit them with a foot sweep that's taken them right off their feet. Yeah. How, how do you... So, so is that what people should kind of expect from you when, when fighting, like, a lot of big throws? Well, obviously, I'm very good at judo. That, that was my main thing. That's how I started, but... Overall, I'm a well-rounded fighter. I'm a good boxer. I can kick box. I'm good at jiu-jitsu. I can do it all, I think. So whatever he wants to bring to me, I'll be ready. Do you know what? It's always interesting because when you come from a certain background, people always kind of look at it like, well, this is what we expect from you. And I remember Holly Holmes said this one time. She said, 
if I wanted to just box, I would have stayed in boxing. I came to MMA because I want to do it all. So people yeah. might look at you and go, oh, he's a grappler. Like, you know, just stay away from his judo and I'll be cool. And it's like, if you just wanted to do judo, you would have stayed there. Like, you're here to MMA because you're well-rounded. Yeah. Listen, I can display a bit of everything, a bit of boxing, a bit of K1. I'm training every day. You know what I mean? I'm a full, I'm a well-rounded athlete, so I should be able to display a bit of everything Saturday. So, so in, ter in terms of your judo, what, what belt are you in judo? I'm a brown belt, but I'm actually British, um, British national winner under 50 kilo. Okay. I won that. Okay. Li li listen, those, those smaller guys, yeah, like, a surprising. I used to train with a guy that competed at sixty kg. Yeah, I was compete. I was competing at under a hundred, and I was walking around one ten, competing yeah. at under a hundred. I was a big boy. This dude would fling me about, and it was insane. It was absolutely insane. Know, and it's like, it's Definitely. crazy, man. What about to use your weight to your advantage? If you know how to use it, it's a big help. Hundred percent, man. Hundred percent. Have you have you got any teammates that are, that are going to be competing on the show the same night as you? Yeah, I've actually got five, or is it five, seven people competing from my gym? On the on the same show. On the same show, yeah, that's it. So see see that what some people don't realize sometimes is that when you have all of those people competing on the same show, it kind of helps with the nerves a little bit because you're all going through the same thing. Yeah. You're all going to be there. You're surrounded by your coaches, your friends, your training partners, and it kind of helps ease the tension a little bit. Well, to be fair, that's at my MMA gym, but I'm not even at an MMA gym too much. I think I'm there twice a week, maybe. The rest yeah. of it, I'm down at my other gyms, my judo places, my boxing, my kickboxing, all doing my separate bits, trying to put it all together. Okay, so talk, so talk, so talk to me about your your MMA gym. What MMA gym are you training at? So I'm down Nova Falter in Epsom. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I know, I know about that gym, man. It's a it's a good gym, man. Got quality yeah, guys down good. there. There yeah, is top notch. Very good jujitsu. Yeah. Nah, for sure, man, for sure. And, and this is the thing. It's always helpful when you've got a good gym, someone that's experienced, coaches that are experienced in coaching people for fights and preparing them for fights because they can kind of give you the advice that you need to kind of go into it. And now in terms of judo, where are you training judo? So about a year and a half ago, I moved down to Camberley Judo Club, which is a professional judo club. They've got full-time yeah. athletes there. They sleep there. They've got world champions down there coaching, Commonwealth champions. They've got all of it. It's best judo gym in the country, in my opinion. Okay, okay, okay. You said Camberley. Where's Camberley? Uh, it's like Surrey still. Do you know what Aldershot is? Okay. Yeah, I know Aldershot. I know Aldershot. Yeah. yeah. It's near, right next to there. It's a proper good place. Okay. There. Okay, okay. Because you know what it is? It's good to it's good to know because the thing is that sometimes for people that are kind of for for people that are competing in, in judo or wanna or wanna pursue it fully, it's good for them to know of there might yeah. be people that are nearby to there or want to travel to there to come yeah. and get some to, 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 to get some randori in, to go get some drilling in. Yeah. See, well, see look at me. I, I wanted to show my knowledge. I said randori. What? Randori, the Japanese. <laughs> Listen, if anyone wants to go get Randori, go down to Camberley because I promise you there is unlimited Randori there. You will not be worried about and not having enough partners for sparring. I love that. I love that. So talk so talk to us now. For people that have for people that have never seen you compete, what should they expect from you? Oh, actually, before we get to that question, do you know anything about your opponent? Well, he's had three fights, he's won two. He's won on both by submission, and that's all I really know. To be fair, yeah. I've had a but why? YouTube but but, but, that's but it. why take that? But why why take this fight? If this is your debut, why take a fight with someone that's had three fights, had two wins, one loss? Like because that's someone at that level. That's 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 relatively experienced. Like you gain a lot of experience yeah. from your first fight. And There's the, the things. Me. It's and he's what? So he's 12 years older than you? Older than me, yeah. Okay, okay. How, how old are you? I'm 16 years old. What? <laughs> Bruh, listen. 
We we should have started that from the jump. Man said he's sixteen. We should have started with that from the get go. Woo! Nah, man, that is crazy. That is crazy. Shoot. So this is the thing, but your team have to have a lot of faith in you to have you going in there competing with someone that's that much older than you, that much more experienced than you for your debut. Now, for them having that faith in you, do you feel do you feel any pressure? Because they obviously have high expectations of you to put you in this kind of situation. Yeah, definitely. Well, I believe in myself more than anything. I know what I'm capable of when I'm there running in the morning and that I'm the one who knows what I'm doing. Like, yeah. I'm, whatever happens at the end of the day, I know I'm coming in as best possible as I can. I'm well prepared. So whatever way the decision goes, like, I can't help but it. I've done my best. L- listen, Ra, I'm just like, listen, Freddie, I've got in early. Do you see what I'm saying? So see, so see now, after your debut, when you start, when you start getting that upward trajectory, just remember, yeah, handsome Ahmed was the guy. Yeah, handsome Ahmed was the guy. Yeah. So oh, then we can sort something out. Come on, let's talk. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. But listen, okay. So, for people that have never seen you fight, what should they expect from you in terms of seeing you in there for the first time? Well, first of all, it's going to be a very good fight. It'll be entertaining. You can expect a well-rounded fight. If he wants to take you to the ground, that's cool. We can do that. He wants to stand up, that's cool. Whatever it will be. But I've got my plan, and I know what I want to do against this guy. So. It'll be a good fight. It'll definitely be a good fight. Are we are we are we expecting three rounds or are we expecting a finish? Well, I can't promise nothing, but I highly doubt there's gonna be three rounds to it. I like I like that. You said listen, I can't promise anything, but I just don't reckon it's getting free. If it does, it does. If it don't, you know it's what I expected. But listen, for those for those for, for the people that are not able to be there with you live that are gonna be watching the fight on MMATV.com, what is your message to your supporters and your haters? Well, to the supporters, thank you very much. I wish you all the best. I hope I'll do you proud when I'm in there. And to the haters, watch me, come see what you're missing out on. Join the team. Love that, love that. Freddie, it was a pleasure. Listen, thank you for speaking to us. All the best for Saturday. Take care, brother. See you later. Thank you. Cheers, brother.